Can you give me a ride? Where are you going today? Send a knee, please. You want to get comfortable? This will be a long one. Hey! Automobiles? Everybody talking about automobiles. They ain't even seen one half the time. And who says they're so special? I bet them things ain't even faster than my horses. And heck, my horses don't need no fuel but hay and water. This is a trick by the government to take away our horses, I reckon. Next, they're gonna want to take our guns away. Wouldn't put it past them. today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. Now, I ain't saying I'm any kind of hero. Not by a long stretch. But I do take my duties seriously, you know, to protect the passengers and all. But it ain't no exaggeration to say I seen more than my fair share of danger driving this stage over the years. I seen some things that'd make your hair stand up on it. Now, I don't know if you ever been deep into the forest west of Blackwater, but they sure can get spooky. All dark as they are. This one time we was round in a sharp bend going real slow like to make sure the stage don't tip none. And I hears this rustling in the bushes and then the horses start getting real skittish. All of a sudden there's this huge grizzly standing just right next to me, not two meters away. Hot damn! I whipped them horses so hard they had scars on their asses. You can't take that on the road. My, my, my. I know who I'm going home with. You should really check the place out. Maybe I'll remember the name before we get to your stop.
You hear anything about that business at Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar? Someone broke in there and caused a big explosion. Don't be like me. Always seems to be something at that place. Put it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Suppose you're the half-inch type to go looking for old flat iron sides, are you? The monster in the lake? People have been seeing monsters in flat iron lake for as long as I can remember. I don't put much stock in it, to be honest with you. People see anything if they look hard enough. But I still wasn't swimming there. Not that I could swim. So it's fair to say I wouldn't swim anywhere. Anyway, I'm rambling. I know. Too much time in the seat. I do like this here job driving the coach, but I gotta tell you, what I really love, a nice long day of fishing. You know, if you're ever around Saint Denis, I got a tip from a customer the other day about great fishing near there. I mean, real great. He said there's a lake sturgeon in them waters near the city, bigger than anyone ever seen. Be a lucky man who caught that. for the wonders of modern civilization. Viewing here is looking 
pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. much of this unworldly nonsense, but I've had three, maybe even four, customers this past week talking about the vampires in San Denis. Vampires. I mean, really. Now, of course, I tells them, you've been reading too many books, but apparently folk have been turning up dead there. Teeth marks in the neck. Blood scrawled on the wall. The stuff of nightmares. Now, I ain't saying it's true for a second, but stranger things have happened. Got here earlier than expected. Whoa! over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. Come on! <laughs> Oh, you'll see. 